Okay, so today is day 13 and we're doing our recap. We left this morning from Gooder Grove and while we were at Gooder Grove, we were contacted with, by a reporter for the New York Times who wanted to do a piece on the Appalachian Trail and those who are on it and the effects on people. So he was contacting um, Gooder Grove, Zen at Gooder Grove and um, we happened to be there and he's like, hey, do you want to, can I give them your numbers? And we're like, yeah, sure, that's fine. So we talked to them and that should be coming out in a little bit. But we didn't use our real names, we just used our trail names. Um, so that, we'll see how that goes. I did give them pictures. So, hey, pictures in the New York Times. That would be cool. That would be cool. Um, we left Gooder Grove and got up on the trail about 10 o'clock today. A little slow moving this morning, but that's okay. And not a lot of pictures or video today. It was a really big day today. It was 10.7 miles, I believe. Um, it will say it in the beginning of the video. Um, we went up Siler Balt and today was like an M. So we went up Siler Balt and we didn't go see the views there. We were okay with not seeing the views. And then we went down to a gap and then we went up to Wylebald, yeah, and the tower. And we sat up there and rested our feet and then we came down to Wylebald Shelter. Um, we got pictures at the top and some video at the top of Wylebald, but that's pretty much our day. It was not cold. It was a warm day and it was humid, which we're not used to. We're used to humid and cold. And today was humid and warm and I got a little bit of sun on me. And it was just a really warm day. Uh, the views at the top at Wyabald were beautiful. I enjoyed sitting there, took my shoes off, sat on the grass, laid up against my pack, had great service, called my husband, and cleared out my email. So it was really good. The climb down was only 0.9 to the shelter, but it was a rocky 0.9. So, and we were ready to be done. Um, while I was in Franklin, I got new inserts for my shoes, which helped my arches, but it didn't, I, my feet are now trying to get used to the new shoes, um, the new inserts, because I have a little bit more room. So I ended up with two more blisters today, uh, two new ones. And the one on the side of my hill is getting bigger. So I don't want to pop it yet. But anyway, that's today. We came in, uh, had dinner, filtered water, put a tent up. It's all good. Oh, and I had chicken noodle soup for dinner, which was the best. And I also had some stuffing, which I think most of the season got into the other part of the bag that I split it in. So I'm going to have a really seasoned uh, stuffing in the next one but I was super full drank lots of water it was good so end of day 13 we survived we made it it was all good get tired of walking through the rhododendron tunnels but I don't they're cool and they're so nice to go through I love hiking through them it's so funny because they're near the tops of mountains and they're just so nice and actually this isn't rhododendron anyway it's like some of them are rhododendrons but it's a tunnel. And this is why you can't take solar packs on your back for a lot of the AT because it's like a green tunnel. Especially now that springs come out. It's just hard. Oh, we got a duck here. Look, there's a branch. Ah! 
Oh, we're ducking. There we go. Going through. Oh, you can see the little bit of the end of a tunnel up there. It's a warm day today. It's humid. You know, it's interesting that I thought I'd be nicely acclimated from having, living at, you know, 5,000 feet, no big deal. But it's the climbs up and the humidity that get me. Whew, they suck the wind out of me. This humidity sucks. All right. We have a view, hello. Indeed, a view, hello. the top of Wesserbald. I'm guessing that's uh, the lake, not all the lake, whatever down there. Anyway, it was a long haul and it was hot and it was tiring and humid and I'm ready to find camp. Camp is only 0.8 and the water source is 0.6. We, there is a fire tower right up there. You can kind of see it. We chose not to do the stairs up to there because holy cow. Alrighty, I am currently at Wesser, Wesserbald Fire Tower. I decided to take the stairs. Whoo, it's a platform now instead of the fire tower. So if I wish I could flip you around, but I can't. So, I'm gonna stop this and start the new video, the other video. Alrighty, these are the views from the top of the fire tower. It is 360 views all the way around. It was a hot day, but this is pretty up here. Wow. It's so pretty cloudy now which is nice so that's Fontana Dam out there in the distance that's Fontana we're headed there tomorrow we should be no two days two and a half days I think we're gonna be at Fontana Dam so yeah and that puts us all the way back around Woo! I have some good stuff Alrighty, we are doing, well, I'm doing a recap for day 14. We left Wyabald. Sorry, couldn't remember. Starting over. <laughs> okay, update for day 14. We left Wyabald Shelter. Um, we had one other guy, Woodstock, was there with us that night. We were all tenting, so it was really nice there. <laughs> There's some noise in the background. <laughs> anyway, so we left Wyabald and went down. We had kind of an M to do and went down to Telkoi Gap. And from, well, first we had Burling, Burling Town Gap and we had our morning snack. And Nancy was kind of looking at her feet there. She's had blisters and, and some of them are healed. And then she got uh, re-blistered from allergies to laundry soap and adhesive and and then she got blisters on top of that so it's we we're looking at that and we're looking at the best so then we went up to cold spring shelter which was the oldest one I have a picture of it in the video uh, it was an old one built in 1930s by the CCC I hope you can hear me because the winds blowing okay so anyway, we went there, got some spring water, talked to Kyle, um, Nancy's son, about who is a doctor, about her feet. Um, we decided we'd go up to the Gap and, and do that. So our lunch was a really long lunch. We talked to Kyle on the phone. We ate. 
and so I hope and so that did take a little bit of our time um, after Cold Spring we didn't have any water there was no water until after our climb up Wesser Bald um, on the other side of it we were really low on water there's supposed to be a spring it was empty it was enough spring water to put our towels and our buffs in there and dampen us down it was a really warm day it was a humid day and we were dying climbing up that hill it was just I was drinking water doing the best I could I had some water left over uh, Nancy was a little low on water we got to the top and it was gorgeous views uh, she headed back and I stayed up at the fire tower, climbed the fi fire tower after I was told by a group that we've seen on the trail that we should go see it. So I'm gonna see if I can guard that a little. I don't know if you're catching wind or not. Um, and then we came down, filtered some water, got some nice spring water, hit the shelter at, I don't know what shelter this is. It's Wesser Bald. We're gonna call it Wesser Bald Shelter. And there are six, nine, there are nine locals that are here, younger kids, who are uh, staying the night and they took over the whole shelter. And we were planning on the shelter tonight. So up above it were tent sites and they're on a slope. Well, you could find one like single tent site that was flat, and, but not enough for both of our tents. Um, so we found a spot and Nancy's kind of level and I'm like, Wah! so got that done, put up all of that, got us something to eat. There's two other hammockers that were up by us and then some three through hikers uh, came through that got off the trail when they were asked to get off the trail. Now we're back on the trail. Um, so it's good seeing them. That's uh, Fenway Miles and Mountain Goat. So anyway, that's our cap for tonight. Um, we're having some foot issues with blisters and stuff, so we're going to go into the knock tomorrow. We're only five miles out and see what happens there. After we came off the razor's edge, we dropped into a rainforest-like environment. It was very lush and green. The light didn't come through because the trees were so full of leaves. And as you can see, it was very lush with foliage. We were excited to get to the knock. Okay, so we have our review for today. As you can see in the background, we are not on the trail. We left Wesser Bald Shelter this morning about nine o'clock and went down into the knock and it was gorgeous. We went over a couple of uh, Razorback hogbacks um, with great views and down climbing down these rocks. After we got through those, we went through this um, river valley area and it was gorgeous. It was really, really pretty. The trees and, and the trail was really great. It was really pretty. And then we got down to the knock and it was kind of slow going today. Nancy's feet have been, have had blisters on them and they've been really, really bad. 
So we needed to slowly get down off the trail and get her looked at. So we got into the knock and talked to the convenience store and they said, oh, there's a list of shuttle drivers over onto the over there on the restaurant. So I went and got the photocopy of the shuttle drivers and there was one in Bryson City where there was an emergency care center. So we looked at the emergency care center and it closed at three o'clock. So we're like, okay, it was about 1230 at that time. So we called the shuttle driver and they were here actually in Bryson City. So they came and picked us up and took a little bit longer than we had anticipated, but they came and we hopped in the car after I dropped, kind of stopped in and looked at the the uh, outfitters and the great outfitter store, great outfitter store, really, really helpful people, super nice, they have a lot of stuff in there. Um, we drove down to Bryson City, great driver, Joe drove us, and we went to the clinic and it had closed, their hours had changed to two o'clock closing time and instead of the three o'clock. So we got there at 2.25, so we were late. So then we had to decide what we were gonna do, if we were gonna come back or not, stay the night and come back in the morning and Nancy wanted to get looked at. So we went over to their little, their little hospital and it was a cute little hospital, very small and quaint and she got looked at, but they wouldn't let me in. So no visitors. So I waited outside on a little bench and she got checked out, didn't take that long. And they said that her blisters were doing well, however, that she needed to stay off of them. And their recommendation is seven to 10 days. So not sure we're gonna do that, but we're gonna figure it out tomorrow. So we got a room at the sleep in. We're here for at least two nights and we'll figure it out from there. But right now, this is the background that we have. And we're been eating. I went down to Walgreens, got some supplies, grabbed some McDonald's for dinner, and we have been watching TV and just kind of vegging out. And she's been resting her feet and giving them, elevating them and giving them some rest, letting it dry out. So it should be good. Um, but that's our update. Tomorrow we're taking a zero and seeing what we can do and then figuring out from there we might do some slack packing. So that's our review for today. Okay, because we're in Bryson City and we have no car because we're hikers. It's only drive through only. So I am now sitting in Arby's walking through to place an order through the drive through which was funny because growing up and working at a fast food place, we could never allow people walk through the drive through and now it's the norm. So weird. Okay, doing a quick wrap up for the day. Uh, it is raining outside, it's been thundering. Um, we did a zero here in Bryson City to get Nancy's feet to heal up some. Uh, hopefully they'll look better in the morning. We'll go down and get some breakfast and then start our day um, at the knock. But yeah, so really didn't do much today. Did some video editing in the hotel while I was on good Wi-Fi and got those sent um, uploaded and uh, Ron will check them out and get them going for me. Um, but yeah, that's been what we did today. Just sitting around, watch TV, just letting her feet elevate and getting her sores dried. And and we got some special bandages that her son Kyle had recommended getting. So we'll put those on and, and see how it goes. So get back on the